This scenario highlights a combination of several iLogic automation snippets. First, selecting a machine in the dialog retrieves the according CAM post-processor definition from Vault. Selecting options configures pre- and post-sequence steps creating the NC code. There is an option to enable media intolerance activation for one-to-many workpieces in our setup. It helps to reduce fine-tuning running the program on the machine. Other switches determine the output format and additional sharing locations outside of Vault. By activating media intolerances, the automation invokes the Vault message changing a released file. That's fine because Vault will undo these changes as the file has closed later. The various output files compile to a single archive file and add as parent child link to the CAM setup assembly. To prepare flexible production of any machine in our factory's portfolio, we can repeat the automation. Once the CAM setup assembly checked into Vault, a specific lifecycle for manufacturing planning and execution can move forward all needed information and definition files to the stakeholders involved.